New research is shedding light on the genetic reasons why a woman in Scotland feels virtually no pain. 71-year-old Jo Cameron is her name. She also experiences very little anxiety or fear, and her body appears to heal very quickly. Now, scientists say they know why. It's a, muta a, a mutation, rather, in a previously unidentified gene. Elizabeth Palmer is in London with how the potential breakthrough could help millions of people who suffer from chronic and acute pain. Elizabeth, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, this medical discovery happened, like so many others, by chance. It started with an alert doctor and a highly unusual patient who refused to have any drugs after surgery. Joe Cameron has never felt pain, not after wrist surgery, not when she had her hip replaced, not even giving birth to her children. I felt things. I felt my body stretching. I felt peculiar feelings, but no, nothing to make me, no pain. Researchers at London's University College think they know why. They found a mutation, in fact, a bit missing from one of her genes that affected Joe's body chemistry, so she simply doesn't this feel what the rest of us call pain. Mm -hmm. Have a look at her here, in her doctor's office, yeah, happily it. chewing chilies so hot they make her husband wince. Oh, a pain-free life may sound great, but it does have a downside. Joe often doesn't realize when she's hurt herself. I'm ironing, and quite often I'm sort of ironing away. And, uh, and suddenly find I've ironed my arm. And it's only when I see after a sort of mark down there that I realize I've ironed my arm. But for doctors, this is an exciting discovery. And there's a vast problem of around about six or seven percent of the population have ongoing excruciating pain. So we really do need some new therapies. Millions of patients suffering both chronic and acute pain have to rely at the moment on addictive drugs. So we hope that we'll be able to help people in the future by harnessing the knowledge that we gain from the mutation uh, in Joe and trying to mimic it either through gene therapy or potentially in a pharmacological way. Now, we're probably many years and many millions of dollars away from this translating into a treatment, but it does provide a ray of light for so many people who spend a lot of their lives in agony. Anthony? Elizabeth Palmer in London. Thank you, Liz. What an extra. She, she described childbirth as a, quote, peculiar feeling. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. In the right. image of her ironing her arm and feeling nothing. Well, you wonder sort of how she ended up on her arm. but With No physical pain, but also no fear or anxiety? She uh, said it was uh, like a little tickle. Yeah. You know, on the surface, it sounds like that would be a good thing to feel no pain, but I think a little bit of pain is okay. A lot of great art and music comes from pain. That's true. Exactly. <laughs> That's for sure. Exactly.